Amniotic membrane is the innermost layer of the placenta. As indicated in numerous published articles, amniotic membrane serves as a natural barrier to protect the fetus from potential bacterial and viral infections. Amniotic membrane serves as the last barrier to protect the fetus from maternal inflammation or immune dysregulation. Since the 1940s, there have been many attempts to discover a method to preserve amniotic membrane for use in ocular surface reconstruction. However, due to improper preservation methods, the success rate had been low and the uses had been very limited. In 1995, Dr. Sheffer C. G. Singh and his group reintroduced the use of amniotic membrane for ocular surface reconstruction by using a novel method of processing and preservation. The effectiveness of this new method has been proven by a growing number of publications and increasing in popularity within the ophthalmic community in recent years. Cryopreserved amniotic membrane consists of a non-viable matrix which maintains and preserves the original function, activity, and integrity of the tissue. The biologic properties of amniotic membrane in utero are preserved using these methods, including providing a new basement membrane, anti-inflammation, anti-scarring, anti-angiogenesis, and the promotion of wound healing. The anti-inflammatory mechanism contains protesis inhibitors, suppresses interleukin expression, reduces polymorphic nuclears and acute chemical burns, MPTK, facilitates apoptosis of polymorphic nuclear and other inflammatory cells, NPRK, acute chemical burns, and herpes simplex 1. An anti-scarring mechanism reduces fibroblast activation and microfibroblast transformation in normal corneal and limbal fibroblasts, and normal conjunctivo fibroblasts, and abnormal tregium body fibroblasts. Prevents scarring induced by epithelium when implanted in the corneal stroma. And provides anti-angiogenic factors. Amiograft is used for many ocular surface indications including tregium, corneal ulcer, somblepharon, bullous keratopathy, acute chemical burns, fornix reconstruction, conjunctival chalasis, corneal epithelial defect, band keratopathy, corneal dysmetaceal and perforation, acute Steven Johnson syndrome, and in conjunction with many other ocular surface surgeries. The major indications of amniograft are to achieve a better aesthetic outcome in tregium, to be much more effective and easy to, to restore corneal ulcers like neurotrophic ulcers, to be much more effective and successful in managing dry eye by use in surgical correction of conjunctival chalasis and to improve the outcome of high-risk PKP. The two major modes of amniotic membrane transplantation are as a permanent or temporary graft. As a permanent graft, the host cells move over and into the amniotic membrane. The amniotic membrane integrates into the host tissue, the cornea or the conjunctiva, and does not dissolve. The sutureless method of permanent graft amniotic membrane transplantation is used with fibrin glue. Amniotic membrane transplantation as a temporary graft, a bandage or a patch will be the main focus of this DVD. The host cells move underneath the amniotic membrane. The membrane either dissolves or is removed after healing. And the sutureless method of a temporary amniotic membrane transplantation is used with